Do you ever feel like your projects are missing something and you need an idea to help take your After Effects projects to the next level? Well, here are five editing tricks that I often use to help make my work stand out in After Effects. And the best part is that each of these editing techniques should take no more than a minute to apply. So let's get started and let's jump in. The first cinematic edit is all about creating a blur around the edges of your project. This way you can direct the focus of your viewers to the center of your work while also creating depth and bokeh, which are these little out of focus circles here. To create this effect, add an adjustment layer into your timeline and go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and select the Camera Lens Blur effect. Now, increase the blur radius to whatever value you think works best for you. Now, if we come here to the shape, we can change the shape of the bokeh, which once again is how your out of focus elements will look like. I usually select octagon, but use whatever you want. Now, of course, we don't want this blur effect applied to our entire composition. So one quick way we can remedy this is by grabbing the ellipse tool and masking out a circle. Then just increase the mask feather and that's how to create a cinematic blur for our first edit. If blurring is not a possibility for you, for our second cinematic edit, I was just taking a look at applying CC vignette to your final project. This is a very simple effect to help center your audience's eyes. If you want something more powerful, I would suggest taking a look at CC Spotlight. With the Spotlight anchor points, you can easily move the lighting of the effect to create focus on your project while applying high contrast. The third cinematic edit you must know and will love creating is chromatic aberration. By adding a chromatic RGB split effect, this is a fast way to add extra detail to any project you're working on and this is so easy to do now. Apply the VR digital glitch effect to an adjustment layer. By default, this effect is just a glitch, so pop into the distortion menu and set the distortion X to 0 and the complexity to 1. Now you can adjust the color distortion and even animate the color evolution to dial in your RGB effect. Test out this effect on your edits and see how it looks. Being able to properly glow elements within your project is a must know. So for our fourth cinematic edit, learn how to apply cinematic glows. Start with the drop shadow effect from the perspective menu and change the shadow color to any color you want your glow to be. Set the opacity to around 40% and the softness to 20. Then duplicate the effect and set the softness to 90. Now we can apply the glow effect. Set the intensity to about 2 and set the glow colors to A and B colors. Then set the color looping to sawtooth B greater than A. Lastly, go to color A and set it to your drop shadow color. Now we can duplicate the glow effect and increase the glow radius to around 100. Then duplicate the glow effect one more time and reset it. Lastly, if you want, apply the CC radial blur effect and set it to a centered zoom. And increase the amount until there's a little blur around the edges. This effect is of course optional, but by applying this effect stack, you can easily create beautiful glowing effects. The last cinematic edit is all about texturing and adding overlay assets to your projects. I have my scene here that is ready to go, but I want to add something more to it. So I have this texture and I will apply it to my edit. We can set the blend mode to add, screen, overlay, and even soft light. Just experiment with the blend modes. And if you have multiple textures, you can edit them together and pre-compose them into one layer. Then change the mode of your composition. This will give your edit a gritty feel. Speaking of building your library of cinematic edits, if you need to push your After Effects and Premiere Pro work to the next level, be sure to pick up our motion graphics pack where you can instant import titles, logo animations, and many cool templates to save you endless time. You can easily change colors, text, and all parameters to fit your project needs. So be sure to check the link below to pick up your free template pack and always be creative.